Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Ugh, I am glad to get that mask off. Okay, so before I continue, I would like to say I hope everyone is doing well during this uh, bug invasion. General, CIS fire strikes have crossed the border in Sector 5. Yeah, it is a very serious situation. As some people say, we're at war with a microscopic enemy and all of his friends. However, I just see this as a very serious situation that's only going to last for a few months. But I want to ask, have you noticed that there are a lot of people out there who are like treating this as like the end of the world? Like, come on, people. I don't think we're at the point of the same fate as Alderaan, okay? The way I see it, this is just a plague that is hitting us really hard. Though we should be thankful we're not the ancient Egyptians that had to go through ten horrible plagues. We're just going through one. So with that being said, I want to talk about the two main reactions that people have when things get a little tense. Those two reactions are faith and fear. I decided to look up the acronyms for fear and faith. So the acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. Now the acronym for faith, I found several, so I'm going to read two of them for you. The first one is fully anticipating it to happen. And the second one is for all my fellow believers in Christ, full assurance in trusting him. Just in the acronyms alone definitely demonstrates the difference between these two words. So now I want to ask you, are you a person who lives in fear or in faith? That is a very good question we should always ask ourselves. You can see whether people are faithful or fearful. For example, thunderstorms. There are some people who are just absolutely fearful of thunder and rain. Others actually enjoy it, and they have faith that one day the sun will rise again. While sadly, those who are living in fear are consistently worried and terrified. Like the only thing that they can think about is the rainfall, the wind, thunder rolling, and the flashes of lightning. And I understand it can be a little scary. A little side note, just because you're scared does not mean that you have to live in a fearful way. You can choose to live faithfully, even if you're scared. Let's imagine, if you will, a fork in the road, and the two pathways lead to very different environments. So imagine yourself at this fork in the road. To the left, you see sandy hills. And then you look over to your right, you see snow-capped mountains. So one direction leads to fear, while the other leads to faith. Which one is it? Not sure? All right, let's add a little bit more detail. Most of the people are going to the left because it looks easier. And some of them are saying, hey, maybe there's some big sandy beaches over there. We could be going on a vacation. And to top it all off, it will be so easy. And those people who are going to the left, when they see someone go to the right, they try to tell that person that they're foolish. Like, why on earth are you going that way? I mean, for crying out loud, tall mountains. There's a lot of hard rocks. It's going to be really cold up there. I mean, they will just say any negative thing they can possibly think of to try to convince that person not to go. And if that person chooses to go to the right anyways, then they start making fun of them. They'll be like, well, bon voyage. We're going to enjoy the nice sandy beaches and wonderful lifetime of vacation. And you're going to be just climbing all these mountains. And then you will realize that you have wasted your time. Then you're going to come all the way back. And you're going to wish you came along with us in the first place. Very few people go to the right, and fewer still actually make it to the other side. So right now, we have only seen the fork in the road. So you're probably wondering, well, what's on the other side of these sand hills, and what's on the other side of these mountains? It turns out that the so-called beach vacation was just a tiny little oasis, because it turns out that there is no ocean that runs alongside this massive desert. And it is absolutely crowded with people. But what about the mountains? What's on the other side of those? A large green forest, a flowing river, and gentle hills. And there is plenty of room and food and water for everyone. So what is the moral of this story? 
When you have the unhealthy sense of fear, you will do your best to make the easiest decisions that in the end do not bring a lot of benefit. And unfortunately, many people take this path. But as for the very few who take that step of faith and go through all the difficulty, all of the climbing, dealing with all of that cold weather, in the end, they will come to the place that they had always dreamed of. So, I would like to ask you a question. Which path are you going to take? The path where you listen to your fear, you avoid difficulty, you avoid hardship, but as a result, you will end up with a life that is disappointing, unsatisfactory, and a sense of regret? Or will you take the right and go through all the difficulties, all of the challenges, all of the insults, so that you can reach the life of your dreams? You will never reach your full satisfactory dream life living in absolute fear. Faith, on the other hand, will. And especially faith in Christ Jesus. Jesus will give you the desires of your heart, and your soul will be satisfied in him. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am so glad I was able to get this video done. I had so much on my plate for a while. So with a final note, I hope you all have a wonderful day and that you will take the right path that will lead you to a fantastic life. I'll see you guys in the next video.